other news, multi-billionaire Elon Musk reportedly denied access to Starlink in Crimea to prevent a strike on Russia. Hans Marshall has the details. A New York Times report citing sources familiar with the matter claimed that in 2022, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk did not allow Ukraine to utilize Starlink satellite communication system to attack Russia. The New York Times report also said that SpaceX restricted access to its Starlink systems depending on frontline changes. It also used location data gathered by its service in order to enforce certain limits on satellite communication access which supposedly caused problems during the counter-offensive of Ukraine. Since the start of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, SpaceX has donated over 20,000 Starlink satellite terminals to Ukraine to provide internet access. However, Kyiv reportedly wanted to use the systems to launch a maritime drone and strike Russian ships at Black Sea ports to which Musk denied access to Starlink near Crimea. It can be noted that earlier this year in a Twitter post, Musk said that Starlink will not enable the escalation of a conflict that may lead to World War III. Meanwhile, in June of this year, the Pentagon announced that it had awarded a contract to SpaceX for Starlink satellite communication services in Ukraine, but details on the matter remain confidential. This comes after Musk announced in October 2022 that the operation in Ukraine would cost $20 million a month and could not be sustained indefinitely. This is Hans Marshall reporting. As seminal news. NASA's Mission Control in Houston, Texas recently experienced a power blackout that lasted for one hour and a half. The power outage meant the entire crew inside the International Space Station, which include astronauts and cosmonauts from different countries, had no means of communication with ground control. Francine Sagarino has the rest of the story. UAE astronaut Sultan Al Niyadi experienced several historic firsts while inside the ISS. A recent addition to that list includes losing contact with the Earth for 90 minutes straight. The power failure was caused by upgrade work at the Johnson Space Center. The temporary fault forced NASA to rely on backup controls for the first time since the space station was launched in 1998. The space agency assured the power outage did not pose a safety risk to the crew. The Emirati astronaut is entering the final weeks of his historic mission in space as he is due to return to Earth in mid-August. He made history as the first Arab to carry out a long-duration space mission, as well as the first to perform a spacewalk in April. Reporting, this has been Francine Segarino, SMNI News.